Shogi, or Nachi, I'll do a poem, and then maybe we'll ask the gurus to do a song. That like calls for a poem and a song for A.B. Platzker. So the poem goes like this. You ready, guys? The poem is like this. Viggy, tell me if you know who I mean. I'm unmuting you, Viggy. Nachi, I unmuted you. Okay. Now, you ready, you two? Ezra, you three. This is Ezra, Viggy, or Nachi. You can raise your hand and you can blurt it out. But let me finish the poem. This cool, flaming top can dance with the best. He helps spread the yeshiva to the rest. Dan K loves watching him ball. Maishi K's great friend, please make this call. Ezra, who is That's light work, Rabbi. I got it at the, at the, at the flaming red top. Viggy, do you have it? Yeah. yeah. Nachi? I'm pretty sure I have it. Who's count the man? Three, let's go to count to three. One, two, three. Oh, Mario yeah. Shaft. Bless your souls. Bless <laughs> your souls. Excellent. Excellent. Let's read that one more time. Just this cool flaming tap is the red hair. Can dance with the best. Obviously. He helps spread the yeshiva's tyrant to the rest. Dan K loves watching him play ball. Maishi K's great friend. Please make this call. Of course, Ariel Sham, who we all love. Let's get a song, Ezra, from this from Chaim and Shlomo. I'm we gonna, gonna mute to, uh, so it comes out clear. I think they should do a song, but then they should also do an item. Which song is? I don't know which song, but I think I'm I'm requesting they do an they item. Do an quick. item and a song. Yeah. Great. The gurus bring the heat. <laughs> Uh, does Shua Roth have a song that he wants us to do? Oh, mi amigo! <laughs> mi amigo! <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up? <laughs> I, do you, uh, Shlomo, do you know how to do Stranger, like Ellie Dax's song? Did you ever do that before? I've never seen you do that. You can't I don't do learn it, but I don't know now. You, don't, you can't learn it now? You don't want to learn it right now? I, I also okay. want to say <laughs> I want to say no. Uh, whatever, you say. whatever you guys want. Whatever you guys want. All right. Um, yeah. Wow, wow, thank you, Chaim. Thank you, Shlomo. 
Ezra, the floor is yours. You pick the next guy. I don't want to give. I don't want to quit on the gurus. I feel like we let them get away with a lot because they have good voices. <laughs> All right. I know you guys got some up your sleeve. We do. We do. I will give you two choices, Ezra. I can either make it funny or I can make it sentimental. I can go with both. You choose. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's the I same thing. Like- it can go work both functions. So why don't you start it out and feel it out? And on the way, you'll decide. You'll make, you got, I'm saying it's not my choice. I'm not choosing your emotions. All right. I'm going to ask my presenter. Shlomo. Uh, I so, think, I should, I'm going to hold it. Rafal, let's bring it together. <laughs> One second. This is a, a 2007 Red Sox World Championship uh, blanket that uh, – Shlomo and I both had them when we were living in Chile in a, in a country where nobody really knows baseball that much. There's a couple people and like they have like their own cult of baseball, but nobody really knew what it was. And like me and Shlomo were like all about, I know that I was like David Ortiz was like my biggest thing in the world. And like, I remember like, this wasn't the first one that they won, but like I was all about the Red Sox. And I even like did like a school project on like David Ortiz. And it was like the biggest thing for me. And like, I remember like I, when I, <laughs> and uh, I remember when I came to came to camp my, when I moved from Chile to America. I brought this blanket with me to camp because, like, that's what you do. And that's when I realized how much people in New York hate the Red Sox. <laughs> I never knew about that beforehand. People hate the Red Sox, and I was so proud about it my whole life. Like Red Sox, so cool. But it uh, it taught me a lesson. I'm making it up right now, by the way, the lesson. But it taught me a lesson now to love. <laughs> To love something, even if other people hate it, to love it no matter what. Told me to embrace what I'm a fan of, even if other people don't agree with it. And I stayed a Red Sox fan, Woo! even when I was in New York. <laughs> Go Red Sox. <laughs> in my lifetime, we've won more World Series than the Yankees, so I'm very happy about it. I am. I love that you said that that's what people do. They bring their blankets to camp. <laughs> like, they bring linen. I don't think they bring their blankets. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, excellent, Chaim, excellent. Thank you. Two for two. I'm not sure if you went the funny route or the sentimental route. <laughs> the perfect cross. <laughs> wow, that got a lot of emotions on the chats, Ezra. But Kalman certainly, Kalman Sage loved it the most. Go Red Sox. <laughs> they also cheat more than they <laughs> Wow. Chaim, the, the chat is always buzzing. Your Red Sox thing got that chat happening. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Chaim. Did Rebbe see Getzel? I saw Getzel on before. I know he has something. I saw Getzel before. Should we find him? I see him. I see him. Getzel. You're unmuted, Getz. I do not. Great. How are you, Getz? Doing great. Thank God. Excellent to see you, Getzel. Excellent to see you too, Ravi. Let me get you. Are you? Is he on the spotlight? Oh no, there he is. Let me see. Uh, good. Is he on now? Getzel, talk one more time. Hello. Ah. I'm on the spotlight. Yeah, Getzel, how are you? I'm doing great, thank God. Spotlights on you. Love to hear it. Thank you. How is life in Florida? I miss you, Getzel. Miss too. We left Florida. It's very warm up here. <laughs> good. Good, much? good. I'm so, I'm so, I really miss you a lot, but I'm so thankful you're here now. Thank you, Getzel. No problem. Getzel, you're the presenter. You're on. Uh, so, so a lot of people have been here. Uh, there's, there's these rumors going on, you know, about the thing I'm about to bring. I like to say the rumors are true. They are real. It took a lot of time to get them when I first really got them. It took a few months, you know. It's pretty good, but, you know, it took a lot of time. I like to say, you size 17 shoes, they are real. You know, it took a lot, a lot of time to get them because uh, a lot of people don't have a 17-size foot. But, you know, I got it. It fits well. It's nice, nice. Arizona doesn't seem to like them too well for some reason. I don't know why. He's always telling me to get new shoes. You can't wear them all the time. I think I could. I think I could, you know. Pretty solid, pretty nice. They come in a pair, you know. Here's the second one. In case you, in case you guys were wondering, 
I also brought one more thing, which I a bit more sentimental. This little handbag I have over here, I got, I think, five years ago, I got on a trip going up to New York, Passaic, actually, to visit my grandmother and grandfather for Pesach. And I got it at that time, and I've been using it ever since for everything. Like, inside inside here, we got some stuff. We got some medicine, you know, headaches, nice little ankle brace, you know, play some basketball with. And then the uh, ace bandage from a knee that keeps popping out for some reason. And then a little toothbrush, you know. Good hygiene. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. And that is my stuff. Great job, Getzel. Great job. Thank you for being here, Getzel. No problem, Rabbit. Thanks a ton. Thanks a ton, Getzel. Fantastic. Ezra, you're knocking them one after another. Right? Brownstein was masking to that. Getzel, that was great. You got to know Getzel's going to bring it. I have a question, though. Get, is he still unmuted, Getzel? Yeah. I'm unmuted. He's unmuted right now. Gets, I have a question. Yes, sir. My entire life, I've been dreaming of going because everyone knows that in Marshalls, the whole clearance section for shoes is like 12, 13, 14. Have you ever bought a pair of shoes at Marshalls? And if yes, how much? I'm happy to say no. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't cave into the Marshalls. I didn't cave in. But you've seen the only, deal. Only top brands. Only top brands, as are obviously. Of course, of course, yeah. Well, nothing, you know but, nothing but the best. What brand nothing was that? But the best. I have no clue. Let me see if I can find actually. Uh, something Propet? I don't know, Propet, some Spanish thing. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you know that brand. You could easily cook a challenge in that boot. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, I have, I have. It didn't you taste have, that well more than it smelled and, and you will continue to do so, as, as is my wish. It's a Shabbos tradition in my house, you know? Put it in the crock the pot, first, cook it. The first Shabbos we get back to Durham, you're making a challenge in that boot in my room for the boys. Obviously. Always you for the boys. You, you know? know what it is, Ezra. From that boot. A Blue Ridge boot chill chill. That's my boy. Getz, you're the man. Thank you. Thank you, Getz. That was outstanding. Ezra, there are a lot of guys who want to go. I want Matt Levin to meet every guy in Yeshiva, but I guess this is the start. David Levinger wants to go. David Rosenthal. Yo-Yo has. We well, got a lot talking, more to go to. If we're talking boots, you, you don't put anyone but the master of boots, David Rosenthal, on after that. Let's go. Let's go. If we're talking boots, David's on. Do you so, know where he is? Yeah, I got him. I just don't know how to unmute him. Unmute him. Uh, oh, there you go. Dave, hey, what's up, baby? I wish I'm good. You actually caught me not wearing boots, but I'm, I'm wearing, uh, I guess, a short version of boots. They're hiking if shoes. Boots are boots, and what are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're my hiking shoes, and they actually went on a hike today, so I guess they qualify as boots. But uh, when I went to the show tonight, actually, which is, I'm actually excited, I'm very excited to show, is uh, if anyone that knows me a bit knows, uh, knows that I like tools. So I, mean, I like tools a lot because they, they can be capable. I'm not helpless when I have tools. I get things done. And uh, one tool that I enjoy a lot and I use when I go camping, I use it. If I have to fix something in my car or search for something, is my really cool lantern that I, I think I got about uh, in like my first year at Durham. Actually, actually, a very funny story how I got it. First, let me show you the cool features of it. It has a nice searchlight. And... On the back, it has a button that makes a lantern. You can even split the lantern. You got it to go in half. And you could hang it up with this little hook over here from a tree or wherever else you're hanging it from. I actually was, was recently having a picnic and there was, a, there was a, like, a, a, like a, one of these like pavilions where I made a barbecue it was that night. So I hung it up from the rafters and that was before the police came. <laughs> it worked out well. Um, and well, the actual story that makes it very sentimental, besides for a cool tool, and I like tools, obviously, is that uh, this light over here, I bought it my first year in Durham when I was uh, an actual dorm counselor. Now, now they still call me a dorm counselor, but I, as, as, I, as I like to say, I'm not a dorm counselor, so I guess a staff member or uh, someone that lives off the fat in the, in a really, in a, in the most special issue that I love. But the reason why this is sentimental to me is because in that first year when I was a, a real dorm counselor, Rabbi Kalish told me a very important rule. And that rule was that guys are not, are not allowed to learn Gemara late at night. And I was very, very good at detecting that. <laughs> and I used to, I, I used to like, have, like, just like, I used to like, you know, like figure out that guys were hiding deep in the forest behind the Carlton and they were learning Gemara. <laughs> and I had to like, like three in the morning, I'd realize that. So I put on my bathrobe and I would try to find them, but I couldn't find them. So eventually I figured that I have to get a really, really good light. And, this was this light over here, this handy light was the best light I could find in Amazon. 
and I got one for me and for Ashi. And from then on, there were no more guys learning Gemara in the forest that night. <laughs> David, I love you. <laughs> you missed the best feature of the light, though. What's Anyone best that has one of those lanterns or anything that remotely resembles one of those lanterns automatically is the most trusted man within 30 miles. That is the most trust you could possibly earn. You walk out with a lantern like that, everyone is instantly following you wherever you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's an incredible presentation. Ezra, I think that calls for some song or something, no? Obviously. I mean, a lantern like that and a man like David, it, take, it, takes, it takes a lot of self-control for me not to break into song right now. <laughs> Should we let David choose the song? At least let him ask the Guris. David, for that yeah. presentation, what song do you want to ask Chaim and Shlomo to sing? Um, what song? Um, it's, I, I, it's funny. It's, it's a song that has nothing to do with any uh, with uh, with the spirit of tonight's night activity. But if you ask me a song, I, I maybe maybe don't listen to me because it has nothing to do with the theme of tonight. But it's a song that's on my mind that I thought of today. And actually, like, it took me, like, I, I only knew the, I only could think of the high part for a while. And then I, I uh, FaceTimed Yosef Chaim Eisenstein and he helped me get the low part. Um, it, it was, uh, it was, um, it's, it's, uh, it starts with a, a, like a vino, a vino, malkeino. And like the high part is, um, I don't really know. I probably do. It's a pretty famous song. I, I liked it a lot. And today I thought of it. And uh, it's a time helped me remember the low part. Because they know it. And if, gonna, and if it's not going to kill the mood. Them if they know it does. We, I'm I don't, gonna find I don't want to sing. Uh, I unmuted them. them. I unmuted them. I was in the spirit of tonight. But that's what, if you're asking me, that's what's on my mind. Let's see it. Chaim and Shlomo, do you know that song? I don't know. I don't know. It <laughs> <laughs> sounds amazing, though. The yeah, bits that, that he sang were that sick. Was, I thought like that was you starting to sing it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think just because of our fight today, you should pick a song for us. <laughs> <laughs> Rebbe, maybe we could hear the song from David. Maybe David should sing it for us. <laughs> David Rosenthal, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Rosenthal. Maybe Nachem and David do it. <laughs> they need Rebbe. I think they need a guitar. <laughs> Chaim and Shlomo, maybe we should do Ashira Lashem. Let's do Ashira Lashem. That seems to be the song of the of the Zooms. Take it away. <clears throat> better after Rebbe Shmuel. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you, Chaim. Thank you, Shlomo.
Outstanding. Oh, thank you. Ezra, who do you want to choose next for the night? How many more, how many more slots do you think we have time for? That's a good question. There are a lot of hands raised. I know Yoel Kreimer has a good one, David Levinger. Ezzy Berger is here, and I want to shout him out. Ezzy, we love you. Thank you for being here, Ezzy. Ooh, I see two that caught my eye. Do you want, should we get Yoel Kreimer on? Yeah, we got Yoel Kreimer. I see the Garnhouse brothers look like they have something of this. They're smirking and they're pointing. So and Papa Garnhouse is there. On. Get them on, Ez. I don't know if you turn down, if you have a chance to see Papa Garnhouse, maybe we can get him to sing his niggin. Let's see, how do we uh, unmute them? No singing, he's saying, okay. One second. Nachum, you know how to unmute them? <laughs> We're unmuted. Oh, no. Just Very unmute them, Abram. Yeah, that's it. Could you hear us? Loud and clear. You're great, how's it going, guys? How are you right We don't now? sing during yeah. Sphere because it's like music. What do you say? We don't sing during Sphere because it's like music for everybody. Maybe whistle. F sure you can whistle. <laughs> What's going on, Rebbe? Excellent. Thank you for being Avrami Maish and the Tata Gardeners. Thank you. Sure. This is Avrami's. Uh, what do you call it? This is my uh, my special sentimental something show and tell. Um, as everyone knows in Waterbury, and for those who aren't in Waterbury, uh, Rabbi Kailash gives out a couple of these every Friday night to uh, you know guys who I guess he feels like deserve it. So this is uh, something special that I got from. Rabbi Kish, uh, over, I think like a year and a half-ish ago. Um, um, I was, me, I'm an Achim Wiener, yeah. Shout out to Achim Wiener. So um, when we went to Washington, he uh, donated bone marrow, but uh, we got it for that, that next week Friday. But it's something that means a lot to me. Uh, it's a tr not, in, not, not a trophy that I won in uh, camp or something. It's a trophy I won in Waterbury. So something that means a lot. Off the charts, Abrami. Off the charts. Ezra, that was a great one. That was wild. I can't believe you still have it. When was that from? A year and a half ago. Wow, that's those are those are a hot commodity on Friday night. <laughs> would you say, Ezra, would you say one of the nicest people that we ever had in Yeshiva Easy? I would not hesitate to say that he's the nicest. But Good call. For sure, one of the nicest. Picture that plane, Menachem Wiener and Avrami Gartnas flying to Washington for one of them to donate blood marrow, blown marrow. That was obviously an eagle. There's no chance that was a plane. <laughs> we wish that was a plane. It's definitely going to bring the eagle quicker, that's for sure. 100%. Rabbi, what do you think about Mice Gross spitting, uh, uh, sharing something with us now? Let's go. Let's go. You have him on? I don't – he's here. I know that. I saw him before. Let's raise. What's his name on there? Oh, I got see oh, his name. oh, there he is. I see him. Nobody move. Pin. Oh, let me unmute. Unmute. What is he? She's iPhone. Oh. Wrong person. Hi. Mike, can you hear you us? Me? You got me? Oh, yeah. I just got to pin you now. I don't know how to do this. Uh. As we, oh, oh, there, there he is. Yeah. There we go. All right, so what I got tonight, I got a poem, and I got the show and tell. I got these knee pads, and well, what is? I was thinking, I was trying to go deep. Maybe I should bring out that nobody would, uh, no, what nobody would think of. But I just went to the basics. What came to mind? These orange knee pads, because the origin of the story is, um, I'm, a, and I'm always scraping my knees on the hardwood and the, you know, I play in the park on the concretes, and my knees are getting banged up. So I had to get these knee pads, and I think I got it like five years ago um, in Heller. And they, you know, they got ripped. They got a couple of rips here. But just like an old car, a, a sentimental car that stays with you, you just got to ride with these knee pads because they've been through some wars, and they've been to, through some great trash talk that the world has never seen. And... And it's just really amazing. That's what's really sentimental for me because I sweat in these. I bled in these. I never cried in these. I might have made other people cry, but not me. And um, that, that was, that's why it's sentimental to me. Now. That was um, awesome. I have one question. Yeah. Did you win the championship last year uh, in those? I, I, I did win the championship yeah. in these, the Waterbury Durham Championship. Shout out to my teammate, Shlomo Guri. I know you're on there. Um, 
yeah, it was it was a very enjoyable time. Very enjoyable. Hold up Thank those you. hold up those won the Durian Championship last year. Excellent. Game winning shot in the knee pads. Where's yeah, where, look at the rip. This is this is what it's about. You don't want a fancy car. You want to, you don't want a Gamara. You want a yellow Gamara. A Gamara that you learned in. It's a little yellow. You don't want a fresh new Gamara. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tremendous All right, and the poem, I'm going I'm to read the poem. I should read the poem now? I mean, when else is the time? <laughs> it's been so long since I was this tired. Tonight, my main aim is just to inspire. Waterbury legend, I hope my number gets retired. And shout out to Ezra Shulman. Man, he just got married, and that's kind of cool. But he hung up my, on me today at breakfast, and that's kind of rude. But I wish Nachas on his marriage. I wonder who made the first move. And make sure your wife wears that raggedy old snood. And shout out to my brothers, the Waterbury crew. And by that I mean everyone, the whole entire school. Isn't it crazy how fast time flop, how time flew? First I was a youngin and now I'm kinda old school. And isn't it weird that now I kinda wanna go to school? And yeah, it's funny what isolation makes you wanna do. My mind is always racing as I contemplate creation. My teardrops flow like glaciers. I hope God got me in his graces. I'm fighting Satan who was faceless. I got to stay grounded. My fears are just baseless. I'm in my own head. I've traveled many places. Far and wide, big and tall, but happy is my favorite place of them all. Isn't that all we want to be? Happy and free. That fresh ocean breeze. Dreams are reality. We don't want to sleep. I hope my life is fulfilling, satisfied, and complete. And dang, these rap poems open me up like a flower. I guess Waterbury was that little rain shower. Little by little, unlocking my powers. I'm fighting my battles. I'm taking my chances. My thought is advancing. I'm thankful for God. My nose is working, and I could be smelling the grasses. My mouth isn't broken, so I could speak to the masses. My body is working, so I can climb up the mountains. I'm searching for answers. I'm asking for signs. I pray to my master. I care about my friends and even the actors. I think about marriage, but just know I got standards. I hope my salvation comes soon, but Messiah comes faster. What a great note to end all these stanzas. Bless your soul. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Ezra, Would it be weird if you said that at my chuppah? <laughs> No, hey, listen, don't hang up on me at breakfast. Don't hang up on me at breakfast. No, that's all love, though. I got to chill with the fam. I know, you know, I, know I know it's all love. I'm, I know I'm kidding around with you. I'm kidding around with you. Just some friendly Dude, banter. Sick. Mice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I have two questions, though. Well, really one. I asked the first one. The second one is, when you scrape your knee pads, does, does actual blood come out of the knee pad? No. I don't, I don't, like, I don't know if you know me. I don't, like, I don't bleed blood. Like I'm um, made out of a like, concrete. Like I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you ever noticed. You're sewn from a different cloth. You're saying. Exactly. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I do bleed. Um, I'm human. You know. It's. it's I'm what talking I about have. the actual knee pad, though. I feel like those could bleed. Oh no. They themselves have blood in them. No, 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 no. They they probably have. If it had veins, they would have ice in it. But that, that's oh, about it. Love it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. No one loves the big stage more. No, no, no. Plus. A plus. Maybe what do you what about what about we hear from Rabbi Zone now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put on do you have please unmute Rise Zone. He's unmuted. Oh. A lot of people Hi, are how are you? Can you hear me? Oh yeah. yeah, how are you? Excellent. This is incredible. It's nice to be uh nice to see everybody. I, I have something I want to show that uh, show to everyone. My first year uh, in Waterbury, I was a uh, obviously a brand new Rebbe. It was towards the end of the year. We had an award lunch. I don't remember. I, don't know, I guess it was maybe the senior awards, and I was awarded this uh, dog bone. <laughs> it was uh, four years ago, and my wife has been trying to throw it out. Uh, ever since, but um, I won the the biggest dog on campus, D A W G. I believe it was uh, J Spice um, and maybe Shelly Elstrider who awarded it to me. And it says it says Merry Christmas on it. But I guess that was the time <laughs> of the year. Uh, this year was the first year we stayed home for Pesach, and honestly, it would have been the best time to get rid of it. But I sold it with my chametz. I wasn't sure what was in it. 
and I, I still have it. It made me feel uh, very, very uh, welcome on campus and like one of the guys. I mean, at that point, I think I already felt pretty comfortable, but you know, there's always uh, there's always that next level. So uh, yeah, this is something that I cherish and I can't imagine throwing it out. I believe it's, I think it might be pork ride. I'm not sure. Maybe I have to ask Shiloh, but um, in any case, yeah, this is my, this is my item. Thank you. And uh, we have to do these, uh, I think we should do this every night, 10 o'clock. That's my, I vote for that. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Zon. Awesome. Besides that, we all wanted you on, Rabbi Zon. The king of Zoom asked that you come on, and you never defy the king. Nachi was like pushing hard. No, no, the king. Thank you for being on, Rabbi Zon. Thank you for all you mean to us all. Uh, thank, thank you. you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Woof, woof. No, I wanted to thank guys, Dovi Salzberg for being here. I want to thank Ellie Donowitz. It means a lot. Zach Wiener's with us, Ezra. Where's Zach? Ezra, let's get David Levinger on. Oh, he's going to have a bingo. You see him? Do you see him? David Levinger had one. Mm -hmm. Mayor so Richard here, bless his soul, Shimmy David. Have David Levinger? Yeah. David Zahn. David Zahn. Great. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> Dave! <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't prepare much for this, but I have an item I think is really, really, really cool. Um, there's not much background story. Believe it or not, what I have, I fit my whole body under at one point. Um, I have this blanket over here from when I was born. Um, the day I was born, let's hold this out one second. Let's hold this out. Let's hold this out. Move this, Essie. Ready? Wait one second. Here we go. Back it up. Okay, wait, back up, Essie. So this blanket was from when I was born. I think it's pretty cool. I have some teddy bears over here. Got my name written across it. 1019 the day I was born. Don't fret mistaken. It doesn't say COVID-19. It says David 1019. But um, I thought it was just really cool to just share something from the day I was born. So, um, yeah, this is, this is what I got. There's not much story behind it. Um, and uh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, David. For us, it's a great story. It's sentimental to us. We're Very sentimental, yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. You, don't, you don't get a much better story than that. You were saying, I saw people had things from five, six years ago. I'm like, come on, my day I was born, bro. Talk about old school, Dave. Come on, get in there. Come on, of course. Get right in there. Love Excellent. It. Ezra, we have some good ones. David Claris here. Yes, the Armish, you know, has one, Ezra. Elio Pearl. No way. Huh? There's no way he has a, I believe that he has one. There's no chance he has a phone that's working. <laughs> Elio, Ezra, have we ever had a, besides being a special Ben Tyra, one of the most competitive athletes we ever had in the yeshiva? By far. That was the collision of competitiveness when him and Nafti went at it by that Frisbee. Famous game. moment. <laughs> famous moment. That that might be this probably that either that or when Yehuda Dudge got bit by the Rottweiler or the Pit Bull. <laughs> Those are the two famous grass field moments in, in the history. Two good moments. Hey, are you? It's good, Ezra. Hi. Okay. Four is yours. So I want to say Mazel Tov to Ezra first, obviously. A little right. quick shout out. Right. But when I was deciding what I was going to do today, Mr. Omar Gullah sent this to me last night, so I had a nice amount of time to think of this. And I said it to myself, it would only make sense to give a shout out to the place that got me to here. So I thought, well, Water Ray was that place. And I was trying to think. So Water Ray is like a big idea, but like, I was trying to think of what little thing, like color something, picture, it helped me symbolize water race. So I, me and my sister over here, I have my sister here. She helped me. We baked four cakes. We cut them out and we painted the water ray colors. So this Whoa. is what we have over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
That's what we got for everyone, yeah. Whoever wants a screenshot can get one. <laughs> get one, get screenshots, guys. That is great. That is great. Yeah. How long did that take, Elio? About an hour, two hours, maybe. That's amazing. I love you. That's amazing. I think you're right. Yeah. I feel like Thank I need you to the sister. Thank you, Elio. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm excited, Elio. Elio. How much did you bake? She did the batter. <laughs> she did most of it, honestly. <laughs> Oh my god. I, helped with the paint. I did this. I did some paint. It was my idea. It was actually W. Pfeffer's idea, to be honest. He was by my house today. He's like, why don't you do something with a cake? So I guess that he gave me some idea. I want to give a shout out. My brother just got engaged yesterday, so I want to give him a model. Oh, model. Mazel Mazel yeah. yeah. Not muddy. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Show us one more time for the camera. One more time the cake. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Eat it, eat it. Ezra, you mask him. Ezra, the day we get back, I want that cake and then David while eating that cake. David Levenger to do welcome back, Ez. I'll probably pass out if I'm being honest. <laughs> especially if especially and obviously Matt will be there. Yeah. <laughs> That's like pushing the day we get back that party. Let's go. We're dancing to save our from the exit from the highway all the way up to Israel. <laughs> None of this driveway stuff anymore. Great call. Yissi Yarmish has something as. Where's Yissi at? A little Philly magic. Hmm. Oh, I see him. Yeah, the boy, yes, sir. You muted? Yeah. Oh. He's unmuted. Oh. There we go. There we go. Okay, I wanted to share something with everyone. Um, so this is like one of uh, the most treasured memories of my life that I have up to, up to this point. Um, so I don't know if you guys have seen one of these before, but this is an EpiPen. And what it does is it basically it injects a person with a certain, uh, certain, uh, I guess, medicine that basically allows people to, uh, allow their body to calm down from the shock, uh, an allergic reaction. And my younger brother, Yoni, which you guys probably all know, you have to know him. <laughs> you have to know him if you're in Waterbury. And basically, he uh, one time was eating something and we didn't know that it had peanuts in it. And shortly after he wasn't doing so well. And after about a bit of time, uh, we realized that there was peanuts in it and we had a, we as a family got together to try to take him to the hospital. And we got in the car, in the van and we got to the end of the block, which is not very far. And we turned the corner and we said, you know, if, if any, if you need any, if you need this, we can, we can give it to you. And what happened was we got light and he's like, I can't breathe anymore. So we open up the side door, he runs out and my, my father can't stop the car. My mother's in the back of the, the back seats. So she can't get out right away. And I'm, I'm the one right next to him. And I run out with him and he, he looks at me and says, I, I, I can't, I can't do this right now. I, I can't, I can't stop myself with this. Like, three inch nail which is what's in inside this thing so i said okay okay i got you and i uh, i ended up giving him this and i uh, saved my brother's life that day it allowed him to be able to breathe and we got him to the hospital and that's uh that's this thing this is a huge memory it's it's a trophy of me being a a good big brother a good uh, a good hero <laughs> fantastic yes you are a hero. Ezra, how well did that device match him? Somebody always saves his brother's life. 
If we were <laughs> able, I'd have somebody play the song Brother now, the Waterbury song Brother. I heard <laughs> that the guy in Kathy that song, but That's I'd it. have them play the Waterbury song Brother. Yes, see, we love you. Thank Thanks you so for much, that. Thank you so much. I'm really glad I was able to share that with everyone. Thank you. Where is, oh. Rebbe, what about Usher? Should we, do we, how many more, do we have enough time for Usher? Usher Ackerman? Yeah, Usher Ackerman. You got to give the vet a chance. Captain. He runs the show. Oh, 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 look at that shining face. Okay, nothing. Do <laughs> magic. There you go. Usher. I'm muted. Yep. All right, all right. How you doing, Ezra? Amazing. There's a lot of different teams on your wall right now, and it's very confusing to my, to the inner, oh. to the inner fan in me. I hear you. I just like sports, you know? Honestly, I'm the same way. All right, so I really have two things, but I'll just do one unless Ezra, the other thing I told you, whatever. So basically, I don't know if you guys know, like if you go to like uh, any amusement park, you have those, uh, those uh, contests, like you pay like $10 and you get to shoot a bunch of threes around um, like a uh, court, right? So I don't know if you guys can believe this, but I was not always a big basketball guy. I, I hated basketball up until like two years ago. Um, and so before I knew that hats like this did not cost $10 and you can automatically just get them. So I paid $10 because, you know, this was, this was after 10th grade in Waterbury. So I knew I had to get good at basketball because that's, that's the only thing that went on there. So I paid $10 and you had to score eight out of 15 to get the hat. And I've never scored more than like three or four out of 15. So I did it. I, I hit it. And that's when I realized like, wow, I want to play basketball. And that's like, uh, this hat's where, where, where I started playing basketball. That's sick. Excellent. Excellent, Ash. Asha, you're an all-time great in every which real way. You're an all-time great in Waterbury. And your story of basketball becoming amazing at basketball, it doesn't always work that way, but your growth in life and your development as an all-time great in our yeshiva is just cool how it mirrored your basketball growth. Thank you for being our captain, Usher. My pleasure, Rabbi. Ash, where's the trophy? You got to show the trophy. You got to rub in the Okay, dirt. fine. So I was talking, like, Rabbi said it could be a trophy from fourth grade Romu. I didn't go to Romu. I went to Camp East Champ Not a Not a hefty amount of competition. Champ there are a ton of good players. Obviously, Josip Kasper is from Passaic. He's a baller. Um, so seventh grade, um, East Jay League Championships, I was playing football against a, a, a future teammate of mine in Yosef Sandler. I don't know if he remembers this. I'm sure he doesn't. But we were the, we were the underrated team. So I got this. Um, I, ha I, had one of my, I had one of my better dit games, a, a seven-touchdown game in the championships hey! versus Yosef Sandler's bunch. Again, how many? Seven. Get in there. <laughs> they don't make them like you. No. <laughs> so this, this was – I Wait, thought it was cute because, you know. Did Yosef have a chance to defend himself? Is, he, is Yosef on? There's no way he remembers. Maybe. Where is he at? Yosef, you're unmuted. I think he meant Yosef Sandler. I'll, I mean, I don't got to defend anything about being a good baller from the second. <laughs> no, Yo not Yosef Casper. <laughs> Yosef Casper. Oh, he's, he's, he's not on. He's not yeah, on. Yosef, speak. You hear, are you unmuted? I, I think I'm unmuted. Talk to the people, man. Defend your honor. No, I didn't mean to put him on the spot. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't remember, but I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember. I Honestly, to me, I never lost a championship either. I don't remember any time losing a championship. All the greats have short memories. <laughs> um, Ezra, can we get on? Yoel Kreinler has rocked the Zooms. We're only going to go about 10 more minutes. We're going to get to hear from Matt Levin, Beza Hashem. But let's get Yoel Kreinler. The guy has rocked the Zooms from Baltimore, Maryland. We all want to hear him. David Clara, you mask him. Let's get Yoel Kreinler on. Rabbi, I think I we, that's, you got him? Hey, Rabbi. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's what I'm talking. Great. Um, I have a... Uh... 300 year old Megillah from Morocco. Uh, my father got from his uh, brother who missed his bar mitzvah 
So he gave him that as a present. Uh, I can't show it to you. It was made on deer skin. Wow. How old is that? Over 300 years. Woo. That's probably the longest time in the world. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> Ezra, we thought we're gonna get like some, you know, some little cheap items going here. Wow, that's one of the rarest things ever. That you just got me completely dumbfounded. I had zero <laughs> words; nothing was coming out of my mouth. A yeah. three hundred year old. Something guy. that's like sentimental to our family because my father's brother isn't alive anymore. So, wow. just like the. Yoel, because you did that for us, Yoel, bless your soul. Because I think it's Pasha. Yitzi Race is here. I was about to say that. We need to get Yitzi on. Where's Yitzi? I found Yitzi. Unmuting Yitzi. Yitzi, talk to us. I woke up at 6 a.m. and I don't know what I'm seeing. That, that's crazy. Not bad, right, Yitzi? That is impressive. Yes, this is the, fruit, this is the, the fruits poem. of your labor. Read the poem because of Yoel Kreinler. In Yoel Kreinler's honor, read, could you read the poem you read for us? It's very long. Um, it's on, yeah. I'm going to have to go off the video, though. I'm not on, it's on the other screen. Do something else. You present, you're, the floor is yours. You can do something else. It's not going to die. We need to see his muzzy. I don't got, I, listen, I just, I'm, I came to watch. I came to watch. I miss the boys so much. And I you just, you just move a little closer to the camera when you talk, just so we can see the muzzy. I set, I set my alarm for <laughs> early, and I am excited to be here. I want to see. I want to see everybody. Thank you, Yitz. So I think Ezra, we covered Yoel and Yitz. Well, let's get Matt. To, let's get Matt on. Matty, I throw it down. Do you see Matt? Oh, there he is. Really, just unreal, like, unreal. Oh my good lord, that was crazy. That was reckless. No, man. Experience reckless stuff. That was nuts. <laughs> Rabbi, I want to say about the Morocco, it's very crazy that he pulled that out. I have this, uh, my Mashiach robe over here. It's from Morocco. And um, this is what I'm going to wear to greet Mashiach, God willing. And this is right over here. Let me turn it around. Look, I really should put it on for that one, but um. You can't really see it. It's like a funky Jalabia kind of Moroccan vibe. It's a real, it's a real holy um, Indian. Basically, my first major trip I went on was uh, like four or five years ago with a whole crew of, oh my gosh. It was a whole crew of about 80 to 100 people. It was the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my life, the shore by far. We all got these robes, um, all the people that were there. And that specific, we went off-roading for like with a bunch of four wheelers, like uh, it was a good hour off roading to try to get into the sons of Shleim Hamalek, who's buried in the middle of Yehopetzal, Morocco, and moved nowhere. And the experiences that went out there was nuts. We tried bribing them; they didn't let us go into the caver because they have like a messiah that only their their grandkids, only people from like their descent, can get in there. They literally the whole town came out there blocking the the caver entrance, we were all wearing these jalabias and we tried bribing them with like a truckload of sheep. It was wild what was going on there. <laughs> we gave it to them at the end. They were shechting sheep on the spot. The place was going with sugar. You have no <laughs> idea. So this is the vibe. This robe, Moroccan robe is mamish, like so special. And the fact that he pulled out that Megillah, that was nuts. What a crew. This is just craziness. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Ziggy's from Morocco. Wow. It's crazy. Unreal. It's a lot that you're with us, Matt. We're lucky that we have you. I heard a rumor that that's the actual Kassinus Possum. Is that true, Matt? So this is like a Kassinus Possum kind of Indian. It could be this is from Joseph. Definitely it's from the same person that made that one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's obviously crafted by the same man. Definitely, of course, of course. As I have another poem for you. I'm unmuting you and Yetzi. I'm unmuting Yetzi, yes. I have a poem for you too. 
If you get it, tell me. You ready? Yeah, but I'm a little distracted. Okay, I can't. If Yitzi's on the screen, I'm not going to be able to get it. If you're on the screen, I'll get it. You ready? His mustache is very distracting in a good way. This smiling oh, yeah, stud, this smiling stud has a special diet. Watching him play volleyball next to his dad was a riot. He heals from the city of Muncie. A great Ben Tyra he will certainly be. And the man is? I know, Yitzi, you know? I also know, but you go first. No, you know what? You can do it first. It's too early, as You go first. Come on. Ezra, the man is? Ezra Goldman. Now one more time. Mike! I got you. It's not Ezra Goldman. You thought it was Ezra Goldman? It's not Ezra Goldman. It really is. Tell him. One more time. This smiling stud has a special diet. Watching him play volleyball next to his dad was a riot. He hails from the city of Muncie. A great entire certainly. Elio Gutmacher. Exactly what I said. What do you think I said? <laughs> Biggie Ben Ayim, I think, has one is. Biggie Ben Ayim has an item? Yeah, that's what I heard. That's that's life altering information. I unmuted him. Thank you, Nach. Where's that handsome devil? You can hear me? Oh, do we hear you? <laughs> All right, I don't really, I don't really have a whole backstory and stuff. I don't do all that stuff, but I have, I have something that means a lot to me. It's my pair of tefillin. Um, it was written by my grandfather, so it kind of means a lot. And uh, yeah, it connects me to God. You know, I love tefillin. I love wearing it. So I don't really have a whole backstory. So, so yeah, that's it. That's that works for me. Works for me. Wear that crown with pride, Biggs. Thank you. You inspire us all, Biggie. You inspire me, Revy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Biggie. Brevity is the soul of wit. You nailed it, Biggie. Excellent. Excellent. Whenever people say they don't have a backstory, you hear the biggest backstories. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot said there. Let's unmute Ray with Snicky to say hello to everybody. Right with Snicky, you're unmuted. What do you think about this night? Um, Viggy, I stand up for Viggy. Stand, when Viggy walks into a room, I have a small list of people I stand up for. Viggy's part of that list. Excellent. I, I, I hear that big time. Thank you, Ray with Snicky, for all you mean to us all. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> it's an honor. It's just a pleasure. Thank you, Ray. So we have a couple more. Let's um, let's just JJ. How are you, JJ? Oh, oh, oh. When we get back, when we get back to Waterbury, I want JJ to sing for the Hever. That's my plan to get JJ to sing for the Hever when we get back to Waterbury. Ezra, I think we have one or two more. Do we have one or two more? Let's see. Is that true? Am I right or should we save it for another night? Binyam and Lowy might have had something as. Binyam, well then obviously we should do it. It's probably, okay, there he is. Binyam, how are you? Oh, oh, one second. Oh, word. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> Binyamin, how are you enjoying the night? Oh, it's great. Excellent. Is it true you had something for us? That's what oh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. told me. Oh, one second. Let me go get it. Thank uh, you. <laughs> wow. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> so, this is really chutzpah of me, but I'm actually going to 
bring an instrument on here, which is whatever, it's Spira, it's a shame. But the truth is, it's not about the music that comes out of this. It's about what it means to me. So basically, I started playing guitar like five years ago. And I, th I think I started playing like around the same time that my grandmother passed away. So like that whole takufa of like, oh, my grandmother passed away. I started playing guitar. And so I got this thing for like 45 bucks. And from my neighbor, who's really kind, and he like, he's like one of those guys where like he gets like these random old guitars like sent to him and he like fixes them up. And it turns out this thing's like an $800 guitar, but I got it for 40 bucks, so that's good. And I was like, hey, whatever, it's nothing, no big deal. Like it didn't really mean so much to me when I got it. I kind of like meant a little because like my grandmother passed away, whatever this then. And then I was chilling in Israel and I was like, yo, what should I name my guitar? It's a guitar, like every guitar like needs a name, something like this, you know, like people like naming their things. So I was like, hmm. and I started thinking of my grandmother and her name was Judy. So I was like, yo, should I name my guitar Judy? Like, it's a pretty cool name. Like, yo, like, you know, like these things are always like girls' names, like, oh, they named their car, like, I don't know, some girl's name, this and that. But then I'm like, mm, it's like, too classic to have like Judy this that and then my grandmother she was like we called her Safta like she was known to everyone as Safta Safta, Safta Moss or whatever she was grandmother and she had like a lot of like a uh, effect on like a lot of people so then I thought Safta J for for Judy Safta Judy and that's what I named my guitar and ever since that ever since I named it after her I was like, and like, I, like, I was going to sell a guitar, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks. I won't sell the thing for like 50 grand. I'm like, this, thing, this thing's going everywhere in me now. And uh, yeah, that's what I got. Oh, and there's another story. I met like this crazy guitar dude in like, basically he's on the Moshav. Like this guy is like from Spain and he grew up going from like town to town in Spain, like this little Spanish kid. And he said that like he he would like meet all these like guitar what are those what are they called the people that build guitars? Um, no, they're they're called something. <laughs> Shucks, luthier. There we go. So he would go to all these different luthiers, and I met him. And oh, this guy was like the nicest guy. He was like Spanish guy. He like living in Israel and he has like a little guitar shop like in the woods like on the Moshav somewhere and my guitar broke and like I just started chilling with him and he was like complimenting my guitar he's like one of these guys he's like he picks up the guitar and right away picked it up he like hit the bottom of it he's like oh it's made out of this wood and it's made out of that and like wow this that and then yeah then he like fixed it up it's like the whole thing broke like the whole see this piece all this is like this whole piece just like came off and I was like all right this might be the end of my guitar and then I'm like nah because this is Safta J and I put like a hundred bucks to like fix it the guy like carved out like a whole thing whatever so it just made it mean like a whole lot more to me and yeah it's really it's really sentimental thanks for listening <laughs> wow Rabbi yes you want to make a bet? I know we don't gamble in Yeshiva, but I'll make you, I'll bet you any amount of money that Matt Levin knows the guy that fixed his guitar. <laughs> Good call, Ezra. Been yelling and pulling through for the, for the boys. Are we calling it a night here? Or are we going for one more? It looks like. Yeah. Uh, 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 Who? Ezra? Yes. Should, the question is should we end with the song? I mean, you cannot. It's only appropriate. Does Hootie want to go? I think Hootie might have something. I'll unmute Hootie. Does any. Maybe. 
Could we find Hootie? Hootie might have something. I'm not sure. Hootie's unmuted. Hootie's unmuted. Hootie, do you have something for us? Only the host could. Only the host could. Just show it on there. Show it on there. Only if I can screen share. How does that work? Could he screen share, Yak? It's uncharted territories. No, no, no. Just play it from that phone. You can't screen share. That's right. Matt, Matt Levin would call that reckless. <laughs> Very reckless. Yeah, yeah. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it was tried. Can you describe it, Hoodie? Ezra? Yes. One second. Nachum, if you can mute Hootie. Ah. Uh. Ezra, mute. could you hear Ezra? Yeah, I hear yeah, yeah. Clear. Let's get Yosef Casper to sing to call it a night, Ezra. I think this was a, one, of the, one of the coolest nights of my life, probably. What song did he ask Yosef to sing is? I think you see the song because this was his idea. Excuse okay. me. <laughs> Hi, Yo, Ezra, you remember we won that championship in Heller, eleventh grade? Yeah, that was legendary. Who won MVP? Well, I won the football MVP, so they didn't want to give me both. Right, right, right. I have that trophy. I just pulled it out of my box. <laughs> I have the trophy. I don't know where it is. No, I have the football. Where's Yitzi? Yosef, give us a good song. You pick the song, Yosef. All right. Um, let's think. We are the champions. We are the cha That's a good one. I like that one. Um, mm. Mm, can I do the same one I did last time? Does that work? Yes, it worked before. If you sing it as nicely, we'll take it any day of the week. All right. This is for uh, Yitzi Race's stash. Tfilaliyani kiyatai Lifnei Hashem Yishpaich Sichai the <laughs> Hashem is Shabbat shalom. 
Thank you, Yosef. That was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, Donnie Feldstein, for being here. It means a lot. David Volkowitz, Dave, you Ben Tyra. I miss you so much. Thank you for being here. Yoel, thank you for everything you do. Thank you to the Rebellion. Ramesh Kafi, our Kaf is here. Yosef Azan, all the Rebellion for coming on. Yaakov King is here. Thank you, Yosef Azan, Yaakov King, Rabbi Kaf. I want to thank all the guys for joining. Next week, Ezra will be running a night of odes. Guys can write the odes. We will be having on, Be'ezer Hashem, we'll have a panel of judges, Aryeh Weiss, Matt Levin, and Ezra Shulman, all-star cast of judges. Please write odes. It's a song, a poem, a rap about any bacher or dorm counselor, no rebbeim, and anybody can join from the yeshiva, not from the yeshiva, anybody can join. Rebbeim can do them, just about a bacher or a dorm counselor. An ode, a song praising somebody else. The best three will get a serious prizes. Thank you so much to Ezra Shulman for always being on and all that he does. He will run the odes probably on Monday night. We'll put out the time. Rabbi Say, thank you for joining all the Zooms. All the Rebbeim are going to continue on their schedule. Thank you to Rebbeim for saying, and the guys for joining, continue. Let's continue to meet up. We should all get together in person shortly. Hatzlacha to everybody. Thank you, Ezra. Ezra, parting words. Oh, man. Thank you, Rebbe, for everything you do and for the, these things. You always say it means a lot when you see guys on, but to us, it means the most in the world. It keeps us alive and it keeps us going. So thanks a million. I mean, it's, it's, it always gets uncomfortable when people try to thank you, but we have to say it anyway. So thank you so, so much for everything. And this was amazing. I can't wait for Monday. Thanks a ton, guys. Have a great, great night. Thank you. It's a new way. Yeah. I want to try it. Unreal. Unreal. The winner. Did we not choose a winner or not? Joseph Casper. Oh, yeah. Yes, that was sick. Rabba. Rabba, it was Mickey. Uh, Oh yeah, they didn't change. They didn't choose the winner, Benjamin. Thank Yaman. you so much. Oh. I love you. It's just to learn from you, Rabbi. Thank you so much. Hi, Rabbi Snicky. Yes, indeed. Who that? Is there a winner or no? Yeah, you are. You're the winner. We're all winners. Dave is the winner. All winners. I was about to say that we're all winners. Yeah. I want you to come back on. I want you to come back on. I'm serious. Where are you? Because I'm not the there when they had the voting. I'm the last person. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Jump shot league champions 2012.